students welcome to science jagat thank you so much for showing your support and subscribing us in this video we are going to know uh, institutional biosafety committee so what is institutional biosafety committee what are the functions and compositions of ibsc first let me tell you uh, it is mandatory for each organization involved in recombinant dna activities to register ibsc so let's see what is ibsc it is a legal committee that functions from the premises of an organization involved in recombinant dna activity this committee is constituted as per the rule of 1989 and ibsc is responsible for ensuring adherence to rdna safety guidelines experimentations carried out at a designated location is as approved protocol and prepare on site emergency plans according to manual guidelines of rcgm so this is the work of ibsc okay and ibsc works as the nodal point and it interacts and interferes with other regulatory committees regarding ongoing ongoing research in a particular institution so the decision um, taken by the next higher committee that is rcgm is based on the application submitted by the investigator with the approval of ibsc so as i told you that it is a uh, mandatory for uh, each and uh, for each research institution that is undertaking research to establish ibsc to make sure that all activities going according to rule 1989 now ibsc uh, have to be registered with dbt and the period of the registration is 3 years okay after that after the 3 year uh, period of time they have to renew Uh, the committee registration again for three years. Okay, so uh, what is the procedure of uh, registration? So for registration, the request from organization has to be submitted to DBT in a prescribed performa, along with the overview of organization and bio data of proposed members. Right? Then DBT uh, also nominate a representative from their uh, side from DBT on only um, to be a member of IBSC. so um, the request for renewal when you get registered for 3 years so after that when you want to renew your registration then at least uh, 60 days prior you should send your uh, no uh, renewal request so that the, uh, you you will get the renewal before the tenure will be over or expired okay so this is the process of renewal the same process uh, of registration and the same process will go on for renewal also okay now let's see what is the function and composition of ibsc what is the meaning of composition composition is the members the committee members okay so let's see what is the function of ibsc as i told you it is responsible for ensuring that uh, that the institute has adhered to rdna safety guidelines for research in transgenic plants 1989 1998 by dbt so ibsc has to review all recombinant research carried out by an organization depending upon the category of experiments so what are the categories of experiments experiments have uh, divided in three categories that is category 1 category 2 and category 3 so in category 3 experiments uh, involving self cloning or interspecies cloning uh, belonging to organism in the same exchange group it comes under category 1 right so it is um, exempted for the purpose of intimation or approval from ibsc right but the experiments which fall under contamination level 2 3 and 4 or if you are working on large scale use of recombinants made of self cloning in system belonging to exempted category but it requires prior intimation to ibsc okay now this uh, contamination level second third and fourth working on large scale uh, on recombinant it it falls under the category 2 right now another one is category 3 so experiments involving toxin gene cloning cloning of genes for vaccine production use of infectious animals and plant viruses field testing clinical trials and release of gmos etc requires re review and approval of ibsc before commencement of the experiment right so now let's see what are the members uh, constitutes in the committee of the ibsc so first of all there is the head of organization or he can or he or she can be a chairperson of the organization 
then there are three or more scientists uh, which are engaged in rdna work or they should have expertise in molecular biology work with at least uh, one at least one scientist should be from another institute uh, okay so the scientist you can take from your institute but at least one of the scientist is should be from the another institute and he should be from the similar discipline in which you are writing the project or in the research in which uh, topic the research is going on in your institution okay so he should read he can read that um, no uh, that research so he should be expertise in that designation or in discipline right now a member with the medical qualification should be there and if in case if you are working on a pathogenic agent or on a large scale use of these kind of agents then you should uh, be having a member uh, like biosafety officer now last there is a nominee from dbt as i told you a uh, few seconds before that dbt represents a nominee from their side also okay so there is a nominee from dbt also now provisions of suitable storage facilities of donor uh, storage vectors recipient and other materials involved in experimental work should be made and may be subjected to inspections for accountability on biosafety and uh, ibsc should all allow genetic engineering activity on classified organisms only at the organization or institutions where such work can be performed as per the guidelines and contaminant facilities so they will also check that the institute should have all the facilities which are uh, important to conduct the kind of research you are uh, applying for right so this is all about ibsc so science jagat is providing online interactive coaching classes for the courses mentioned here thank you so much if you like the video please like it share it and subscribe it and do uh, give your feedback in the comment section and if you want us to make a video on a specific topic then you can write the topic in the comment section we will definitely come to it and thank you so much for your love and support